Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to find network ID and broadcast ID for the given IP address. In the last video, we have seen how to find network ID and broadcast ID from the decimal format. In this video, we are going to see how to find these things from using binary format. Before going to the example, we will see this subnet reference table. As we know, subnet mask and IP address is having four octets. It is divided into four octets, one, two, three, four. And every octet is having eight bits. It is further divided into eight bits. And we normally used to write network bits in binary ones and host bits in binary zeros. Finally, we have to convert these binaries into decimal. To convert uh, binaries into decimal, we have to use the two power table. These two power values should be written from right to left. It will start from two power zero, two power one, then it will go up to two power seven. So the place value, that is decimal value, for the first bit network bit, it is one. The next network bit, it is two. It will increase. 4, 8, and up to 128 for the 8 bits. It will it will be the same for all the octets. The calculation will be the same for the all the octets. For the first example, we are going to use this IP address 192.168.2.7 and subnet mask is 26. To find network ID and broadcast ID, we have to First, write the IP address and subnet mask in binary format. To change our IP address into binary format, I am going to use the subnet reference value here. So, to get the value of the first octet 192, 192, we have to add 128 plus 64. So, in these two bit value locations, we have to write binary ones. The remaining locations, we can write it as zero. The same way for the second octet, 168. To get 168, we have to add 128 plus 32 plus 8. So adding these three values, we will get 168. So I'm going to write one below this location. Sorry, this one and this one. All other locations, I will write binary zeros. Zero. The same way to get two, we have to write a binary one below these uh, locations other all other locations i will write binary zero the same way for the fourth factor to get uh, the value seven we have to add this three four two one so below the these three network uh, bits i have to write the binary once. All remaining octets, all the remaining bit locations, I'll write the zero, binary zeros. Okay, that's it. Next, we are going to write the subnet mask value. Our subnet mask value is slash 26, that is 26 network bits. So I'm going to write binary ones, 26 binary ones here. The remaining network bits, we can write it as binary zeros. This subnet mask value, I will write it in decimal format also. Now to get the network ID and broadcast ID for this IP address, what should we do? We should copy the IP address portions just above the 
network peak value from the subnet mask. Our subnet mask network peak value is 26. So for, we have to copy the same 26 bit value from the IP address and paste it in the network ID portion. In the same way we have to paste the IP address value 26 bits into the broadcast ID portions. Now finally we have to write the host bits also. In the network ID host bits we have to write the remaining six bits as binary zeros. To get the broadcast ID, we have to write remaining host bits, remaining six host bits as binary ones. Okay, now we will write the network ID value in decimal format 192, 168, first three octets, we keep it as same. Two, the last octet only, it is it got changed. So all the eight bits are zero. So the last octet would be zero. So our network ID is 192.168.2.0. Our broadcast ID 192.168.2.0. Because three first three octets did not change, the fourth octet we have to calculate uh, the binary ones in the last six bit. So we can calculate from our reference value. The value is if you add these six bit locations, the value is sixty three. So finally, we have find the network ID and the broadcast ID for the given IP address 192.168.2.7. Network ID is 2.0 and broadcast ID is 2.63. For the next example, we are going to use this IP address 192.168.2.75. The subnet mask is slash 26. So I have written the IP address and subnet mask in binary format. For the first three actors, already everything is same. Fourth actor, the IP address is 75. So to get 75, we have to add 64, 8, 2, 1. This value we can refer from the above subnet reference table. So below this value, I am going to use ones, binary one. Other places I will use binary zeros. And subnet mask also 26 bits. I already written and remaining six host bits I have written as zero. To get the network ID, the same way I have copied the first 26 bits of the IP address, that same way above the subnet mask 26 bits. So I copied it and pasted it into the network ID and broadcast ID. And to find the network ID, the remaining six host bits, we have to change it as zeros. To get the broadcast ID, the remaining host ID should be changed into binary ones. Now we will find the Network ID decimal uh, decimal value 192.168.2 for the first three octets and the fourth octet value should be 64 because above this one binary one the value is 64 so it should be 64 the same way broadcast ID value for the fourth octet here we can see. Uh, binary ones in last seven uh, net, uh, bit locations. The value, if you add from the subnet reference value, the value is 127. So now the network ID is 192.168.2.64 and broadcast ID is 2.127. This is how we have to find network ID 
and broadcast ID for the given IP address. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.